I so started working on the vehicle four or five hours, made no money, and I have the cops called on me, right? Hey guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name is Thomas, and today's video is just going to be a little bit different. Instead of bringing you another video of Mobile Mechanic Workday, I'm actually going to tell you how my ass got fired from today's job. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I get a call out to a 2003 Honda Accord has a front end problem. I'm not sure what it is, but when they're driving, it's making a lot of noise. So I head out there, I make contact with the customer. Seems like a nice lady. She hands me the keys and I start doing my diagnosis. Very quickly, I realized that this axle is broke on the left-hand side or her driver's side. It's popping and out really bad. So I give her a good deal. I say, look, I'm only gonna charge you $140. That's only two hours I'm charging you for. If it takes three or four, which it usually doesn't, I'm not gonna charge you for that. So she's like, good, let's go. How do we get the part? I said, all right, let's ride together. We'll go to AutoZone. I'll use my military discount where I'm retired from the Marine Corps and I'll save you a little bit of money. Now we get back to our house, I start doing the job, removing the axle from the Honda Accord. Now most customers go inside, or they'll watch for a few minutes, and then they'll go inside. Well, not this one. And she pulls the chair right up beside me. And I can tell you right now, there is no mechanic that likes to have somebody breathing over their neck, asking them a thousand questions while they're trying to work. First of all, it's distracting as hell. Also, it puts like some pressure on you that you don't need. You need to be focusing on the task at hand. So now I'm taking everything off. I got the upper ball joint separated. Got the axle nut off. We're just, we're making, you know, good progress. But every 30 seconds, she's asking, you gotta remove that? You really have to take all this stuff off? Just asking a bunch of questions, probing questions. Like, I, I could feel that she's uncomfortable with what's going on. But I don't know why, like, I'm tearing it up. I'm going through this nice, right? I get the axle popped out. So there's only one more piece. It's where the truck comes down and makes a Y. We have to take that off to get the axle all the way out so we can put the next one in. What it is is the bushing. I'm sitting there struggling with this thing, telling her this is what I need to do. And she's like, no, I got to have this done right now. So I'm working on it. And I spent like five hours on this thing, like trying to get it off the way she wants. After I told her, if I just cut it off, give me a couple hours, I can have this. For some reason, me saying I was gonna cut it off, like scared her to death, you know? So after working five hours, she starts to say, well, maybe I'll just call Trip Way. I'm like, Trip Way? What are you talking about? She gets on the phone, starts calling these other mechanic places, getting quotes and stuff. She comes out to me, she's like, well, can you just put it all back together and then I'll take it to another mechanic, which is fine. But I explained to her, I said, well, they're probably not gonna get to you till tomorrow, which you don't want. I was telling you I could get it done and it would be done tomorrow, but you didn't want that. You said you had to have this vehicle right now. Also told her, you can't drive this vehicle like this. You're gonna have to have them tow it. So they're not gonna give you the same price I did. I mean, I gave you a pretty good deal. And this is where I messed up. When I come out and do a diagnosis on the vehicle, it's 60 bucks. I get the money up front, all $60 before I do the diagnosis. Once we quote the job and if they hire me and I give them the quote, like I said, 140 bucks, everything's good. I get half that money up front, no matter what. So it'd have been 70 bucks, right? Or if she'd have paid me the diagnosis, the $60, then I wouldn't need it any up front because I subtract the diagnosis if you hire me from the labor. But I didn't get the diagnosis money up front. I was just talking to her. She seemed like a nice lady. And then when we started the job, I did not get no money up front. So now I've done diagnosed the vehicle. I've done five or six hours of work. And now here I'm putting this vehicle back together to have somebody else do it. it. Put me in a situation where like, well, I didn't finish the job, but I could have. She's the one that canceled on me. No, I shouldn't get full payment, at least the diagnosis money, because I came out and told you what was wrong with the vehicle. Even if I don't fix it, you still have to pay for somebody to come out and look at your vehicle and tell you what's wrong. Now I'm in the situation where I'm standing there it's like six o'clock in the afternoon. She said, I'm going with another mechanic. Just get your stuff and go. I can feel that she's getting like tense and like angry about it. I did explain to her, I said, I think that's wrong that you're not going to even pay for the diagnosis. I said, well, hell of a way to treat a veteran, huh? So I'm packing my stuff up, ready to go. And the cops pull up. They come to me and said, what's the problem? I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. They said, you're harassing this woman. I said, harassing? 
So she called the cops and said I was harassing her over this. Now I'm sitting here talking to the cops, explaining myself to these people. So now, let's recap the day. Came out, diagnosis, started working on the vehicle, four or five hours, made no money, and I have the cops called on me, right? So I didn't get paid for her job or the diagnosis. Also, every hour that I'm working, I charge $70. So, and I have 20 or 30 calls a day. So if I wasn't working on that job, I would have had three other jobs. So what's the purpose of me telling you this? Always, always get half your labor up front. If the customer does not like that, then do not do the job because I've been in too many situations where they won't pay afterwards. And as a mobile mechanic, you don't have a lot of options. You have no options right then. You can call the cops and they'll say it's a civil matter. So you have to take them to small claims court uh, to get your money, which ain't even worth it. Or to try to get a mechanics lien on the vehicle. This takes money and time to get that. So no matter what, always get half your money up front. Guys, that's how my day went on Simplify Mechanic. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. In the comments section, tell me how you would have handled this situation. And like always, Simplify, till next time.